Well, thanks so much for joining us here once again on weatherbug.com. I'm weatherbug.com severe weather meteorologist Aaron Schaefer. And what you're seeing here on this video, these are uh, large beach umbrellas, those giant ones you'd stay under for shade, floating around, flying around at Cocoa Beach, Florida. You can also see a little circulation out there. What that is, is actually a gust nato. And a gust nato, in this instance, a kind of short lived gust of wind that gets drawn up into the updraft of a storm, in this particular instance, at Cocoa Beach, Florida. And it twists, again, it's swirling about already, and then it gets lifted, it gets stretched, and that's what creates that tornado-like signature out there. So kind of interesting, just, again, minor damage, of course, from those. In this instance, beach umbrellas getting tossed about, but still kind of frightening if you don't know what it is. How about this, also frightening, flash flood warnings. We saw some yesterday into the overnight hours and even into the day today on this Monday here and you can see flash flood warnings in that red shade more of them likely for today as well as our flash flood guidance shows these yellow and kind of orangish reddish shaded areas in southeastern and eastern Kansas southwestern Missouri uh, back into that near one inch category is all that's needed rainfall wise in a three hour span to create flash flooding so as such with a threat of rain overhead for the day today seeing flood concerns in the form of flash flood risks in all those kind of forest green shaded areas all across that region. Now, we head back again a little more broadly speaking, a few severe weather reports to the east, also back over the front range of the Rockies over the last 24 hours. And in fact, our storm threat for today kind of centered along the front range. Got dry air coming in from the west, more humid air to the east. So again, stay tuned to weatherbug.com. We'll keep you updated.